Hi. In this session, I shall be showing you how to perform panel funnel modified ordinary least square FMOLS model. The steps here we have to follow. Open the data with two variables LGDPPE and LAC. Here the data for six countries, which is GCC countries, and 14 years from 2000-2014, which is 90 observation. And then run the panel unit root model, both at level and first difference, and intercept only with interpretation. For third, sorry, third, therefore, Perform panel okay just to correct this typing mistake okay there perform panel configuration model with interpretation using P Pedroni 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 Angel Ranger based with two dimension within dimension and between dimension and the same cow sorry cow angel granger based and then Fisher combined Johansson all of them they use the output of the probability or the statistic within dimension and between the dimension and there are seven statistics with 11 probability then we put the hypothesis for our study null hypothesis there is no configuration alternative there is a configuration using the three trend specification individual intercept individual intercept and and individual trend sorry individual trend and no intercept no trend and finally we uh, apply the panel fully modified or nearly square model then I'll go to views. this is the data sorry this is the data we have as you can see it here ID countries date log we transfer the variable into log this is gdppe and ec we transfer it to lgdppe lec and this is all the data we open it as a group this is the data here as you can see it this is the country id which is number one indicate the code for you uae united arab Emirates from 1990 till 19 2014 up to here and the code number two for Saudi Arabia from 1990 to 2014 the code three for Qatar and code four for Oman code five for Kuwait and code six for Bahrain so we code these countries as one two three four five six because we have six country and the data starts from 1990-2014 okay now this is the variable and this is independent and independent variable sorry then the second state what we have to do you can see it here we run we run the unit root panel unit root data so I'll go to eviews quick series statistic unit root L G D P P E here we test it first we change it to summary or you can use any of these depend on the research you want to do but I prefer to use summary to include all these type of test so I use summary I select level 
for individual and intercept the criteria automatically selected for SIC but you can choose any one of these but in our case we use the SIC and everything is set up just press OK here what we can see the output here for Levine's land and uh, I am Peseran and ID F and PP for Fisher chi square and you can see the probability here this is significant this is not this is not this is not so most of the uh, method shows the probability greater than 5% which is not significant so we have to go to use that I'll go to view unit root there's there's difference and then we click OK as you can see here all the probability for all the method greater than 5% which mean that when we say greater than 5% we uh, uh, sorry less than 5% mean that we reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis meaning that all the the variable LGDPPE is statistically significant for at 5% level and or 1% level highly significant and here when we find the significance for this uh, variable as a unit root then we can move because here or usually if 50% or more than 50% of the method is statistically significant then in this case we can accept we can use the model and before a transformation into a first difference if we test it at level but if we test it at first difference then uh, all these over 50% of the value of the method are statistically significant so what we have to do now and here you can see that from the outcome all the oh, we can see that all most of the method shows that exist of the, the uh, stationarity which means the majority they have significant level uh, most of all of them they have their significant level then the second part here As you can see, how we test it and how we use the hypothesis test for Levine. The null hypothesis panel data has a unit root. So it means that if we cannot reject null hypothesis, it means there is unit root. But here we can see that p value less than 5%, and which is greater uh, less than 5%, which means that we have to reject null hypothesis which means that we have to reject the panel data has no unit root the same thing for uh, Pichiran p value less than 5% which is significant and this means that we have to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis what is null hypothesis in Pichiran null hypothesis panel data has a unit root or not stationary but here we reject null hypothesis we accept the alternative between the data is or the panel data has no unit root or stationary no, there is a stationarity and here the same thing for Fisher chi square ADF PP less than 5% which means that we have to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative because null hypothesis panel data has a unit root but the alternative has the data has no unit root or stationary the second part we have to test it for hydri for hadri hadri is take the opposite measurement which means that the null hypothesis has no unit root opposite leaving Pisseron and fisher fisher and leaving and these four methods means if we reject null hypothesis there is no unit root but Hedri if we reject this null hypothesis it means there is a unit root so I'll go to view unit root and then I select Hedri put it at level as you can see it here this is at level there is p-value is less than 
which means significant and hadri z statistic probability corresponding to the probability p value less than five percent what what which means that we have to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative so what is the null hypothesis for hadri null hypothesis panel data has no unit root and here we have to say p value less than five percent so hadri z statistic now we reject null hypothesis which means we reject the panel data has no unit root and then we have to use okay which means that if we use that convert to the unit to, to the first difference you can see here p value is greater than five percent what does it mean here one p value greater than five percent for hadri statistic z statistic it means that we cannot reject null hypothesis which means that the null hypothesis the data is or the panel data has no unit root so here we have to reject null and accept the alternative the alternative here 66 point meaning that the we cannot reject null rather we accept null and this means that the variable lgdpe is stat uh, stationary or has have no unit root the other part here we have to test we'll go to the after we find the stationarity for the variable we can go to the panel configuration model how let me close this one and go to quick and then group statistic Johansson configuration let me see this is the data variable here click OK and then we select Petroni Petroni will <coughs> individual intercept and the uh, uh, automatic selection is IC we will leave everything as it is and then press OK when you get the outcome here you can see this is the outcome so what does it mean here we put the dependent LD LGPPE as a dependent variable and EC independent variable and here you can see why we put it here as dependent variable and specify the dependent and independent variable because the panel because the in the panel dynamic ordinary and panel dynamic whether ordinary least square or fully modified ordinary square model we have to use the specify the dependent and independent variable so here after we run the panel for Petro Petronic and then we can decide we have a three as we mentioned here we have a three part okay Petroni Bitroni, Bitro, Pitroni and uh, Cow, then Fisher. Each one we have to use a three type of method individual test and individual or intercept, individual, no individual, no intercept, no trend, as I show it in the beginning. So, what does it mean? We have to interpret the result here, as you can see it. Here there is no no significant p value greater than five percent which means that if we p value greater than five percent this means that for the individual uh, co uh, intercept and you can see it here there is weighted statistic 11 uh, probability 7 uh, statistic and there is here alternative hypothesis within dimension alternative hypothesis between the dimension so we have to check this outcome if we have the uh, probability 
out of 11 more than half more than 50 percent it means that we can accept it and then we can say there is a configuration between the variable so first you have to specify or stated our null hypothesis our hypothesis null hypothesis there is no configuration and alternative there is a configuration so let me talk about this one this one 6.7 greater than 5 percent this means that we cannot reject null hypothesis and this means that there is no configuration between there is no configuration between the two variable the second one is p value less than five percent which means that she's statistically significant so we have to reject null and accept the alternative and this means that the the there is a there is a configuration between the two variable gdp and ec the same thing for the third one here less than five percent and this significant this significant all these method less than five percent this means that we can reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative and this means that there is a configuration between the variable under study here we can say that out of 11 uh, probability out or outcome we have nine nine probability significant which is the majority is significant so in this case we have to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative and this means that the variable all statistically significant and they move together in the long run or there is association in the long run the second part we have to test the individual intercept and individual trend i have to go to view then okay quick group statistic johansen configuration and then we have to change to from individual intercept to individual intercept and individual trend leave everything as it is and then press ok you can see here the output which is how many significant one two three four five six seven eight nine nine out of eleven is statistically significant which p value of less than five percent which means that the these uh, uh, statistical indicate there is a configuration between the variable and there is association between the variable as far as 9 out of 11 is statistically significant then we we move to the next one we'll go to view configuration configuration test panel configuration test and then we change it to none which is no intercept or a trend for petroni then leave everything as it is press ok and you can see the outcome here there is only one two only two statistical significant and nine is not significant this means that two out of eleven is not is significant which means that there is no configuration between the variable lgdppe and lec and there is no association ship but as far as out of the three method we have two method is statistically significant and there is a configuration or long run a configuration it means that we have to accept that we can move to the to test the second method okay the second method is cow which is angel granger based how to test it i'll go to view configuration test panel configuration test then i'll change petroni to cow and then we leave everything as it is press ok 
here we can see ADF the T statistic 9.59 and the probability less than 5% so what does it mean this here okay here we can look at ADF and the T statistic corresponding to the P value which is less than 5% this means that we can reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative and this means that the variable have a long run association so the majority or most of the variable they are telling us that there are a long run association when the variable has considered have uh, contigrated or longer run associated we can run the fully modified ordinary least square method which is the long run model and because this model is very uh, sufficient so we go to the third method which is Fisher so I go to view configuration test final configuration test I change this one to Fisher combined Johansson leave everything as it is here we select the by default the intercept no trend in EC and VAR which is error correction and VAR model so I press the interval is one to one I press OK so we get the outcome here as you can see it here none the Johansson Fisher Panel Configuration Test the series LGDP PE LEC and the sample 1990-2014 and this is the lag interval and first difference one to one now here if we look to the hypothesis null hypothesis we have null and at most one we have Fisher statistic for a trust test and Fisher statistic for Max Egan test. You can see the probability for both. They are less than 5%, which is statistically significant. So in this case, we can say that variable LGDPE and LAC, they contigrated and they have a contigration and they have a, a longer run association between the two variables. So after we test, okay, after we find all the, by most of the variable are contigrated in the long run, or there is association, then here we have to go to uh, apply or perform the fully modified ordinary least square model, which is F as you can see it f m o l s how i'll go to a quick and estimate equation then i type the variable l g d p p e c l e s l c sorry and then i'll go to select contigrate from here contigrate and then we have the GDP dependent variable LAC independent variable and here we have fully modified ordinary square we have to change the panel method from full to a group because more sufficient and then we leave everything as it is then I press OK this is the output for the fully modified ordinary least square and here we can see that we see after we select the group method we can see the outcome is clearly shows LEC is the coefficient is negative and the probability is statistically significant this means that LEC is the independent variable which we have, which have a longer run coefficient and statistically significant 
with negative coefficient, meaning that if the LEC increase by 1% or by, by one unit, the LGDPPE decrease by 0.99 unit or percentage. And this is because the sign is negative and uh, statistically significant. And here when we use, of course, uh, energy consumption will affect the GDP negatively if the energy consumption increase, of course, the, the GDP decrease and vice versa. This is according to the economic theory. Thank you for watching the video.